Hey guys, NinjaGuyVR here, and for those who don't know, I'm actually a big cloud gaming supporter. Cloud gaming is the reason why I've become a content creator and I've dedicated the first two years of my channel to it. We've recently gotten the new 2.0.70 version of GeForce Now on the browser, and this is really exciting since this new version allows GFM to be played on the standalone MetaQuest headset. Since I'm a GeForce Now ambassador and part of the MetaQuest creator program, I feel like I'm the right guy to talk about this. Today I want to say many things of the service. You've come to the right place if you want to know everything you should know from a cloud gaming enthusiast. So let's get this started. There are many cloud gaming services out there, but one that really stands out is GeForce Now. This is a service where you can use a selection of games that you own from accounts such as Team, Epic Games, and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. When you select one of your game, you are then transferred to a server near you that will stream the game on your screen. You can stream on many devices such as a PC, laptop, mobile, handheld, and, well, MetaQuest. There are many advantages of doing cloud gaming. The first one of course is to be able to play newer games that requires a high quality graphics card on a lower end PC. It's also a great way to save some space on your hard drive since some of the latest games can now take a pretty hefty amount of space. <coughs> Call of Duty. <coughs> There's also the convenience of just being able to play on all of your devices and on the go when you're away, as long as you have a good connection. There are currently three types of membership and let's go through them. The first one is completely free. You'll get access to a basic rig with some older graphics card and the way to gain access can take a pretty long time depending on how busy the servers are and you only have sessions of one hour. I'd recommend this tier only to test it out and see if that's a service for you. Or if you want to keep using it and rage about it online, be my guest. I see a lot of those. Second membership is the all-around good performance tier. You'll get access to a rig with an RTX graphics card with better waiting time. I have a few friends who use this one and they don't have to wait most of the time. You also get sessions of 6 hours. Last one is the ultimate membership. This is the one I've been using for a while now. You get access to a RTX 4080 rig and I don't think that I've ever had any waiting time on my end with this tier. You get sessions of 8 hours. One thing I want to mention is that the games run way better on the service than on my RTX 4070 machine. The reason is that these are powered by servers. Their CPU hardware and RAM amount is really top quality. So playing on Quest is super easy. First of all, if you don't have a GFN account, make sure to create one using your computer or phone. It'll be a little too tedious doing it in VR. I'd also recommend linking all of your gaming accounts on there beforehand. Afterwards, all you have to do is click on your browser and go on play.geforcenow.com. You will be directed to the page that you have to log in. Just enter your credentials, then it'll ask you to approve this login via email, and you're good to go! You now have access to your library. You'll also need to connect a controller to play, since the MetaQuest ones are currently not compatible. You'll need to go in your Bluetooth settings, turn your controller into pairing mode, and your Quest should detect it automatically. Just click on it to pair it, and you won't need to do that step again if you don't plan on using your controller on other devices. For me personally, in terms of quality, GFN is the best service out there because it can stream your games in such a high resolution. And from my home, it's the one that offers the lowest quality with only 30 milliseconds to the server. I've played a bunch of games that I really love and honestly, it's very solid on there. Granted it's not as crazy as playing on my PC with an Ethernet connection and wired controller, but considering that I'm on Wi-Fi and connected to a Bluetooth controller, I can barely notice bad responsiveness. I did some tests with both my PlayStation 4 controller and Xbox Elite Series 2 and they honestly provide the exact same reaction time, so I don't think that any controllers will make much difference here, although I did notice that the PS4 controller offered some rumbling, while I didn't feel any on the Xbox Elite one as far as I can tell, but it's not much of a deal breaker for me personally. I barely gotten any lag spike during my sessions. There was maybe a couple of times where I moved the camera and it reacted longer than it should've. But for the people who thinks that cloud gaming is latency galore, just give it a try guys, I swear, it's not bad at all. Like my friend Purple Hay says, the proof is in the gaming, or something like that. One good example that I have here is I can play rhythm games no problem, and that's one big achievement. I even 100% flawlessly completed a song on Fortnite Festival while recording my session, so there you have it. 
It's awesome seeing cloud gaming services like GeForce Now coming on MetaQuest, but something that we haven't officially seen is a cloud gaming service doing PC VR. I had a glimpse of hope that this would be the GFN news when they announced support to MetaQuest. We've seen PC VR cloud gaming happen in the past using a service like Plutosphere, which has now stopped, and then there's other ways to do it like using a shadow PC setup. But I would love to see some straight true process of being able to access games such as Half-Life Alex, Lone Echo, and Asgard's Rat 1 in standalone with a click of a button. This feature is not completely out of the question. We could definitely see GFN bring support to PC VR at some point, which would be very cool. And let's not forget about Project Avalanche. This is MetaQuest's cloud gaming service that hasn't come out yet, but we've seen glimpse of it appearing on some people's account by mistake. I believe that the only thing that's currently running on Avalanche at the moment is an experience called Hyperscape, where you can see and walk around a selection of popular artists' studios. I gave it a try and it's working super well, so I honestly can't wait to do some gaming with it. Thanks everyone for watching! This was not a sponsored video and I wasn't asked to make this. This is simply me being really excited to finally have GeForce Now on the platform, and I can see myself putting on the headset and play some of the games in my library once in a while since it's really easy to use on the fly. I'd love to see you subscribe to my channel since you guys are what drives me to keep making content and improving as I keep going. You are the OGs and I greatly appreciate all of your support! Hit that like button and if you enjoyed this one, let me know in the comments what games you'd like to play in the cloud. See you on the next video!